DX Stamp and Sharon in my studio again today, just playing. I hope that you enjoy today's video. And if you're new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. I invite you to hit the subscribe button below. Also, speaking of below, in the description box where it says read more, you can find out how to contact me, sign up for my newsletters, my website, my blog, all kinds of goodies down there. Let's get to stamping. So I realized that I have not given enough love to the stamp set called Swirly Frames. So I wanted to use it, but I was like, hmm, what am I gonna use it with? There are some stamp sets that are retiring, such as Bouquet Dots. So after June 2nd, the stamp set will no longer be available. When I stamped just the bouquet, uh, it was like, hmm, need something. Uh, will it fit in there? I think so. Well, then I needed some sentiments, and another stamp set that is going away is to Here's, strong, here's to Strong Women. I, I love the sentiments in here, but I realized I had never used the one that says, you deserve a whole sheet of gold stars. So I made a card, and then I was like, well, that wasn't in gold, and it says gold stars. So let's make the gold card, and then I'll show you the other card I made that wasn't gold. So just a few pieces of paper. I have my Whisper White Thick that I chose to cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored and folded at five and a half. I have a piece of gold foil, and if you're like me, that's a big piece to, um, to lose. So, we're going to punch a hole out of the center. Set that aside. So now I have my gold uh, layer that is four and a half by three and a quarter. It will lay on there. And then I have a piece of Whisper Watt that's just the regular, and it is three inches by four and a quarter. So it's going to mat like that. So it ends up not wasting a whole lot of that gold foil. We're gonna pull in our Versamark pad. And here is that frame from uh, Swirly Frames. So we're gonna use that first. But before we do that, we're gonna take our embossing buddy because we're going to be doing some gold embossing for those gold stars. I like to use one of those cleaning things for the furniture to get that powder off my fingers if you've never seen me do that before. So this is kind of a thin stamp and I am inking it up upside down to make sure I get it all nice and covered. And since it is photopolymer, I can, I'm trying not to get my head in the camera, but I can see where I wanna stamp it. Really pressing down to make sure I get everything good and inked. Next, I chose to use the bouquet stars because we're talking about gold stars and we're gonna ink that up really, really good. And again, I hope I don't, I hope I get in the box because I can't put my head right over it because you guys are there. <laughs> the camera is right above my hand, so. The one thing about the Versamark pad is that it does clean off any old ink. Um, it doesn't hurt it when you see it like that. You see the red and the, I don't know, is that blue? I don't know what color that is. <laughs> So now we're just going to pour some gold embossed powder over. Now, if you're not into embossing, you're gonna love my other card because it was super simple with just some ink pad colors. So now we're ready to emboss. I do have a piece of scrap that we're going to do some stamping on. And this is where they deserve a whole sheet of gold stars. I get asked all the time about this little tray. Stampin' Up! no longer carries it, but I still kept mine. Uh, you can find them online. I know I have 
Googled that and have found them. So now we're gonna emboss. I'm using my Everyday Label Punch, and this one is not retiring, but there's a lot of punches retiring, and I love punches, so oh, makes me sad. So now we have our two layers, and we are going to use some dimensionals to pop these all up. So now it's time to put our card together, making sure we're opening it up right. I'm going to use Snail to add this layer. In the center. You could use liquid glue, um, but if you do, if you use liquid glue on the back of the foil and you just do this, you need to use the other end to smush it out or you're going to see lines on your foil. Little tip for you there. All right, so now we're going to place this layer right there. And remember our little friend that we punched out earlier. You could place that there. However, I'm going to just use it on another card because I felt like it took up too much of my little area. You deserve a whole sheet of gold stars. Now, I told you I was gonna show you one that doesn't have gold. How about that one? Well, after I made this with blueberry bushel, which is also retiring, I was like, what a perfect 4th of July card. Um, I mean, what, what about even like New Year's Eve? I mean, super fun. So whether you like to emboss or not, there's two samples for you. I hope that I have inspired you and happy stamping, y'all.